Hi guys. Well, it seemed like I was here uh, just a little while ago tightening up some axle nuts actually about two weeks ago on my uh, ACM. But I also did some tightening on the nuts on my Monster. That could have been six months ago and I put a separate video on that and it was partially effective but now it's it's gotten much worse and it's time to open up the monster what joy is so uh let me show you what i mean all right so here here's the symptoms for a loose axle nut on the monster see how i can move the shell back and forth like this that shouldn't happen at all. That this the monster should be sensory if if I do this, it should be driving one way or another, but it's not. And uh, it really feels bad when you're you're riding it. So time to open up. I've had this for I have a little over seven hundred miles on it now. And um, oh well, total disassembly time. Okay, you guys know the drill. If you've seen one Gatway wheel open, you've seen them all. You gotta take up, take out the pedals first. Then we're gonna take off these panels. Take out the batteries, and finally disassemble the shell. I won't show you all the all this repetitive stuff again. Hi guys, well this is a, another day. This whole operation is going to go over quite a few days probably as I get time to work on it, but um, I've taken the control board side apart, batteries out, and I just wanted to highlight that I've cut the motor wires. I decided I wanted to get rid of the, the connectors. These are the oldest style uh, connectors. My monster is one of the first, uh, the very earliest ones. So when I put this, I, I need to disconnect everything so I can take the, the nut off. Um, yeah, so when I put it back together, I'm, I'm just going to be soldering new, uh, new wires in between. And uh, that'll make me feel better than riding with uh, connectors. Okay, I'll uh, see you in a little bit again. Okay. I don't know where I can start to do some actual work. any obvious signs of looseness yet but um, it's not too bad shape for what something like 800 miles I think in that range all right let me rig it up so I can start uh, taking those nuts off Well, the nut is certainly not loose, so I'm sure the problem must be then in the in the shims. So I I didn't show a lot of the actual taking apart the monster, but if you go to uh, Speedy Speedy Feet, if you go to his um, 
YouTube channel. He has a complete teardown of the monster. What he doesn't have is what I'm doing right now. Replace tight fixing the, the shims. Actually removing the motor from, from the brackets. Okay, while well I have this tightened down, I'm just going to do the same thing on the reverse side. And then we'll, we'll see what we see. I don't know, these don't look really bad. I've seen pictures of some really warped, warped shims. Since I have some new shims, I'll probably, I'll just put them in, keep these as backups. I'll take off the other, the other one, see how that looks. This looks a little more bent up, bent, bent up. But I can tell you when I was looking at the side of these shims, I could tell that they were um, they weren't laying nice and flat. They were uh, a little just like they weren't laying as good as they could be. So let me show you a closer shot of this. Okay, well, if we can. 
you can see they're not uh, they definitely look like they've they've been distorted a little bit but really not too bad like I said since I have new ones I'm going to put them in I think maybe they just shifted even though the the nuts felt like they were tight maybe they moved away a bit you can see the nuts they have this uh, this pattern on here to make them grip and some of that's kind of been worn away so I think even though the nuts were tight um, they'd still moved enough to allow, to allow these to separate just a little bit, which would give me that looseness in the in the axle. So this is all good. Nuts are still look like they're in good shape. Time to clean everything up. Okay, these are the new shims that I, that I got specifically for the monster. These are what these are what were in the monster. If you can tell, they're just a little bit smaller. And this is an extra pair that I got from uh, an ACM. They're all three different, slightly, but um, these ACMs are closer to size from my old to my old monster than the new one. Kind of makes me think that uh, I wonder. You never know <laughs> the. Quality control standards at Gotway we know are extremely high, but um, maybe it just might have slipped through that whoever was putting this together grabbed a handful of shims from the ACM slash M Super batch instead of the Monster batch. I don't know, just guessing. But these are definitely bigger, which would make me think they they will um, hold the position better within the pedal brackets. Time to reassemble. So just like on my ACM, I did, uh, instead of waxing these, I put some, spread them with some dry lubricant. This idea being that they'll, they'll fit within they'll slide around within this bracket and maybe not get hung up in a non optimal optimal position. I'm just kind of kind of guessing but I figure it can't hurt. And I'm going to install some, put some uh, thread locker. So these shims are larger and they're they're fitting better within inside the bracket here. So pro, I think they're providing more compressive force against the axle. Okay, I'm just about to put the last panel on. 
everything has gone together fairly well. Just wanted to show what I've done. I did this in my ACM too. I soldered the motor wires together, eliminating the cables, and I've used these zip ties to uh, force to separate the the three wires. So even if they get uh, very hot, they won't uh, near the connectors. They won't be able to touch and uh, fuse together, which happened on the ACM. All right, back together. Took it for a test spin. Everything is working. Uh, the slop, the little bit of uh, play is not totally gone. Much better than it was before. And I know absolutely positively that there is no slop in the pedal bracket to the axle. So uh, I got to talk to some other monster owners. You know, this, this could be a case of, uh, you know, just over time kind of forgetting what a brand new monster feels like right out of the box. And, and uh, maybe they all have a, a, just a little bit of, uh, a little tiny bit of, of slop. And uh, I mean, if, if this is still unusual, then it would have to be something inside the motor. I'm not sure what that could be, but it's, it's uh, very rideable now. Um, I don't, I'm not thinking about it before. Definitely before there was a lot more play and uh, now when I'm riding around, it's not uh, coming to my, to my attention. So um, good, maybe been good for another uh, 800 miles. And by then, I'll probably uh, have the next generation monster. All right, guys. Hope this was uh, interesting to some of you monster owners, maybe. Talk to you later.